Hello, Internet! Alright, now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, <laughs> I remember you. Whatever happened to you? As you can see, I know you haven't seen me all summer, but I've been... It's because I've been a little busy. Okay, this is the game plan. Okay, imagine every single one of those holes has hardware on it that's basically that. All over every one of those holes. Okay, so this is so you can get an idea of just what's going on here. You see the corner right here? Um, that is the rod bent at an angle. It's going to act as rebar support going up um, into the side walls of the base. And as we go down here, now imagine 56 of these all over the place where every one of those crosses is drawn.
There's a whole bunch of stuff on the table. <laughs> so you know right away I'm going to be getting into some kind of trouble. Okay, now what I have decided to do for Mark II, I was going to cast the machine base out of concrete. Um, it's one of many changes that I've made. Uh, I'm not doing that now. And that is one of many changes that I've made to Mark II over the summer. Um, uh, I've upgraded certain bits of uh, hardware. I've definitely upgraded what the machine base is going to be made out of. Um, redesigned the gantry. Basically... <laughs> <laughs> Mark II is going to be a whole different animal, put it that way. Um, it's going to be a step above Mark I. The jump, is you're not going to believe it. So, what we're doing today. This is going to be, this is a form, a mold, for Mark II's machine base. And we have a... Magic Resin brand, Deep Pour Epoxy. It is a 2 to 1 mix ratio, mix 2A to 1B. Um, and in this case, we are going to be mixing a roughly, three quart, or roughly 1 quart of fully mixed epoxy to 3 quarts of play sand. Uh, more or less recreating a recipe from another YouTuber, link will be down below, um, and how he makes his machine bases. So, I've even, I, a lot of this is cribbed straight from him, including percentages and that sort of thing. Uh, uh, but I tweaked it, because this is Bootstrappy Workshop, and, well... <laughs> He, he went expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to put another coat of this uh, silicone release on here. It <laughs> and then we're going to get to work on this. That's what that looks like just packed in there. We're still going to be vibrating it here in a bit. Air bubbles are a guarantee.
So, a very, very, very generous supporter of the channel offered me a something that I could use instead of a some sort of vibrating table to try to get all this stuff to go ahead and um, sit correctly, I guess, or fill in the empty voids and such. And that would be this. This is your standard concrete vibrator, Chicago Electric, three-quarter horsepower, and we're going to see if we can actually get this sucker to vibrate. I don't know if you've used one of these with concrete. It's actually pretty cool to watch. So, let's see what we can do here. Okay, it's the next day. I uh, thought I'd give you a little status update. Um, I can still move things that I shouldn't be able to move. Uh, it's a little squishy, the, the, sand, the epoxy sand mixture. Now this stuff warns that it could be tacky for up to three days, uh, depending on the temperature and a bunch of other things. As far as pouring temperature goes, this is supposed to be poured and sustained at 70 to 80 Fahrenheit. Uh, unfortunately, in this shop right now, with the weather, it's 60 to 70 Fahrenheit most of the time. It probably drops a little below that at night to, say, maybe 50 to 60. It uh, doesn't sound like much, but it's enough to mess up epoxy. What are you going to do? I don't, can't quite climate control this shop just yet. Working on it. Um, anyway, I think this stuff is going to solidify. It looks like it's going to. Um, it's, it's quite a bit firmer than it was yesterday. And it's just one day out of the three day tacky period. Um, it should be full cure in seven days. So that's a bonus. Um, problem. I don't have enough epoxy to do the rest of the machine base. Uh, blame Amazon. They can't seem to find the other three gallons I ordered. Anyway, uh, that said, I've got some other stuff that I have planned to do. Um, so, with curing time and everything else, it's very unlikely I get to this next, and the next time you see the, uh, the, an update to the channel, it's going to be about something else. Uh, I've got something kind of cool, so uh, we'll see you then, I guess. Uh, God bless. See you in the next one. So... Poured this on Monday, it's now Friday. Nothing tacky now.